Perry McMahon with UKFightSite.com. Down here at Brad Bradford. Yeah. With uh, Javid Radman. Javid, how's it going? You've got your pro debut coming up at yeah. MTK Global, uh, 13th of October. Uh, how, how's training been for that? Training's been going normal, I suppose. It's training all the time. Yeah. Pro debut, or amateur, or street fight. Not my, I'm always training. <laughs> I love this. I love these things. So I'm always training. Yeah. Um, you're fighting Nicholas Fielding yeah. uh, on the card. Uh, obviously, you said your pro debut. Uh, what's your opinions on Nicholas? Like, you seen much of him fight? He's all right. He's, he's got a brand with Injitum, but uh, nothing surprising to me. I think I'm gonna knock him out in the first round. To be fair, I'm going for the first round. Yeah. If I'm gonna be honest with you, first minute. Yeah. Not on my level. Yeah. Simple as that. Um, with, with your training for your pro debut. Correct me if I'm wrong. I saw like I know obviously I see your footage here. You're training now. Have you done some? It looked like you was doing some sparring at AVT. Yeah, I go. I, I like diversity my training a lot. I go training at AVT. I may go to Liverpool, that um, um, Aspire Gym, Manchester, wherever. I just like to learn all the time. You know what I mean? Obviously, I've, this is my gym, but I love learning at different yeah. places too, like Corn Base Leeds here. Every, I just love learning. So yeah, but my main gym, my gym is here. Um, Looking at the MTK uh, MMA card coming up at the Indigo, um, anything that jumps out in you, any of the bats that you're looking forward to? Yeah, well, um, the card is quite big to be fair, but um, the main event is quite uh, quite nice. Uh, what's it called again? Uh, do, do you know what one person actually um, comes out of the mind is Jay, uh, Jay Shepard? Yeah. I can't wait to see his fight. Yeah, I can't been, wait. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The um, Try and catch up with him soon. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good. That's a really, really good fight. Can't wait for that. He's. I think he'll make it all the way. Him. Yeah. He's really good. Yeah. Um, I mean, your amateur career has been stellar. Yeah. You've gone nine and zero. Yeah, nine and zero. Yeah. Yeah. Um, picked up three British titles yeah. along the way. Yeah. Uh, I was at Cage Warriors Academy. Yeah. And Almighty. And GP UK. GP UK. Yeah. Um, what was the highlight of your amateur career like? So I'll be honest with you, fighting on um, Cage Warriors ninety. Yeah. When I fought Damon Donald, it was like I was supposed to fight a guy called Casper Casada from Saul Rogers Gym the week before that, but he pulled out because so he had some dead injury that he never said where he was. Then, so I'd already had a fight camp before, so I was, kind of, I was already in shape. So, Cage Warriors came up on my newsfeed saying they need a, someone at lightweight. I'm like, bro, I'll fight that in a heartbeat. So I'm actually spend and spend, yeah, you fight on it. So, next thing you know, I'm like, fucking Cage Warriors. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was surreal to be fair because um, it was the first time in a massive show on an like, Echo Arena and someone like me, like come up from Bradford, yeah, I'm like, it's a big thing for me, like the massive arena and stuff, so yeah, it was surreal for me, that, that, was, that was my highlight career, but, yeah. Brilliant, like you, um, you captured the, um, the Cage Warriors Academy, mm -hmm. Academy yeah. uh, featherweight yeah. belt, yeah. Um, that, that, you know, Cage Warriors Academy, it's brought through like Molly McCann, yeah, Jack yeah, yeah. Shaw. Yeah. Um, was there any thought of back going pro through them for Cage Warriors or? There, there was, but um, there's no rush for me to be fair. Yeah. Like I can, I know for a fact I'll be in UC in no time, like not even a doubt about it. So me fighting on Bama, Cage Warriors, ACB, KSW, all these shows are going to come for me no matter what. So if I fight an MTK, MTK is a really good show. Yeah. So I thought, why not? Why not just go to London where I used to live before fight there? Yeah. Just have a good time. I know I'm gonna fight in Cage Warriors soon enough, Bamba soon enough. It's not it's not even a big deal for me. I mean uh, the the first show it had a lot of uh, talent there, for, yeah. especially featherweight yeah, people yeah. for come through there, went, yeah, yeah. went to Bama after yeah. I had a fight. Yeah. Um so you know sky's the limit when you're yeah. on there. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. So, what what are the plans for your professional career like? I know you don't wanna look past Nicholas, yeah. um, but like what are you thinking? Well, I, I think I've got a different mindset than a lot of fighters nowadays where people just think, oh, I'm going to go to the UC, that's it, that is the dream. For me, it's just for me, just be the best I can be. I'm a, when it comes to it, I'm kind of like a prize fight when it, when it comes to it, where if it's a good fight, I'll take it. If the money's there, I'll take it, simple as that. It doesn't, doesn't bother about me, the massive show. That's why I like fighting Cage Warriors wasn't a big thing for me. I can't fight Cage Warriors. I could have fought, 100% could have fought this, on this card, but... It doesn't matter to me because if the money's right, I'll fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right, so uh, just off camera, we mentioned uh, uh, you're going to be down at yeah, the Cage yeah. Warriors yeah, uh, yeah. in Liverpool. Can't wait, yeah. Uh, what are you thinking about the uh, main event? What's your prediction? Yeah, I think Paddy's going to do it. People yeah. think that um, 
I don't know something about Paddy is like a bit different. I think. Yeah. I think he's gonna do it. The Soren Bach's good. Not get me wrong. Mm. Really good wrestling, but yeah, Paddy's gonna do it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I have to see you down there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, also off camera. Awesome. Uh, we, yeah, definitely. We we, um, we found out that we're from the same place yeah, <laughs> in yeah, Stratford, yeah. which yeah. is crazy. That's mad. As, so like, can you just tell me quickly a little bit about your background, how you got started with MMA uh, and training here. Just like I don't know, I'm al I'm always been like that kid in school, like always fighting and stuff, and like you know, always like active. But I just wanted to go somewhere where. Aside of with boxing, to be fair, there, there was a boxing club um, right next to my street. So I, I went there, I just didn't feel satisfied to it. And then I heard this guy, I overheard this guy saying about uh, a gym in town, a MMA gym. I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try that out. Went, on, went online, checked it out, Bradford MMA came up. But Monday I was here, and I never looked back. Three, three and a half years down the line, number one in the UK as an amateur and three titles, never looked back. Yeah. Brilliant, mate. I can't wait to see you in action at the uh, MTK MMA. I'll see you down there. Good luck with your training, Thank good you luck with much. your fight, and you. uh, look forward to seeing more from you. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for your time, you. mate. Thanks. Thanks.